Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Bruni, one of the brand new characters from Disney's Frozen 2. Bruni is a salamander, so I've come to the vivarium at the Manchester Museum where I'm going to meet the species that has inspired the character. Now I'm not going to be giving away any story spoilers, but if you don't want to know anything about any of the characters, here is your chance to go away, watch the film and I'll see you back here soon. You have been warned, but if not, stick around because this is going to be amazing. This is a fire salamander. In Frozen 2, Elsa goes on a journey through an enchanted forest and she meets different elemental spirits and the spirits are wind, earth, water and fire. And the fire spirit is Bruni the salamander who has absolutely been inspired by these animals. But Bruni is a little bit different to the real thing, so to find out more about these animals, I'm going to speak to Andrew, who is curator of herpetology here. Andrew, what is this? Okay, so this is a fire salamander. Yes. And um, it's really beautiful. It's one of a pair that we've got here at the Manchester Museum. I mean, they are absolutely stunning. Now, Bruni, the fire spirit, it has been completely inspired by these fire salamanders. But Bruni, um, as the fire spirit, is able to create fire. But I'm assuming this one can't do that. No, no. The, no? The, the fire salamanders, they actually, although they're called fire salamanders, they don't actually produce any fire at all. No, not like dragons. <laughs> not like dragons. No. So where do they get their name from then? Okay, so in the past what they used to do is they used to obviously, they used to throw logs onto the fire. Right. They used to make fires outside. And these guys, they used to live inside the logs. So as soon as they start the fire, yeah. these would creep out of the fire. And so they look oh. like they were being born from the fire. So they got the, that's how they got the name. Okay, so they've got their name from a myth and legend. Yeah. So they don't create fire, but they do like the logs. They love the logs. and that's That you would use to make a fire and that's where they'd be hiding. Exactly. If they can't create fire, is there anything else that they can make? Although they can't create fire, they can create poison. And the skin is really, really unusual. It's got these glands all the way down there. They're almost, almost like little pinpricks, little actually. Pinpricks, yeah. yeah. So these are glands just behind the head there. They contain all the poison. And anything that comes along, any any wolf or fox right. or anything that would eat them, as soon as it attacks them, um, if they get stressed in any way, they start producing this horrible yeah. poison and it comes out of the skin. Well, these fire salamanders are quite used to being handled, are, yeah. so, yeah. so we've got guy's... no risk of poison at all. But the poison would actually spurt out of those little holes, would it? Yeah, yeah, it does. I ah. mean, it almost looks like a milky secretion. Okay. Um, if they get a little bit stressed, but if they get directly attacked, yeah. then it can squirt out from, from those tiny little holes there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Bruni is blue and purple, but these are obviously very striking black and yellow. Yeah, black and yellow within the animal kingdom is, 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 is the strongest warning. So anything that's black and yellow, all animals avoid. Like so, a wasp. Like a wasp or a bee. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, even when the sun goes down and it starts to get dark, when these animals start to come out, black and yellow stands out more than even black and white. Ah. So it's a real warning. Any animal knows not to touch anything that's black and yellow. I mean, we're talking about fire salamanders right now, but can you just sort of briefly tell us what is a salamander? Because this isn't a lizard. No, it no. looks a bit like a lizard, and a lot of people think they are, but they've got no scales. Mm -hmm. And all amphibians have got this smooth skin, so they absorb the moisture through the skin. And the skin is very, very delicate, which is why we've got to wear gloves. We can actually burn the skin um, if we touch them with our hands because they're cold-blooded. Oh, really? Yeah, ah. very, very sensitive to, to temperature. So the skin is a little bit more similar to that of a frog's? I, absolutely, yeah. Ah. So, so frogs and salamanders and newts, they're associated with water. They live in water most of the time or they live in dark, damp places. They drink through their skin? They drink through the skin. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, Elsa finds Bruni in an enchanted forest. Uh, in a country that's not that dissimilar to Norway. Yeah. Is that the kind of place that you would find these? Absolutely, yeah. I really? mean, they, these, they live in sort of forested areas, huh. um, quite high up, um, up, normally above the, sort of the cloud lines in, on mountain sides. Yeah. And they love to live sort of, yeah, under, under logs. I have to say, um, Bruni is particularly cute and adorable. And uh, this one's face almost has smile. sort of a, a <laughs> smile, doesn't it? It's so very sweet. Doing? Popping the salamanders back in the fridge. <laughs> okay, enough. so in the film, Elsa kind of like befriends Bruni by giving it some little snowflakes. 
Um, is it fair to say that these like the cold? Do they like the snow? Yeah, they love the snow. That's why we keep them in the fridge. I mean, here in Manchester, it's cold, but not as cold as where they come from. Did you hear that? The fire salamanders want to be frozen. Well, not actually frozen, frozen. but in the wild, they would get down to very, very, very cold temperatures. So it's only fair that they're kept in the fridge here to kind of replicate what they would get if they were out in the wild. So there you go. We don't have broody from frozen, but we do have fire salamanders in a fridge. <laughs> Almost frozen. <laughs> so there you go, the facts behind real life fire salamanders. Let me know what you think of them down in the comments below and tell me if you've seen Frozen 2 yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you soon. Stay curious.